the African wild dog, Lika on pictus, also known as Cape hunting dog, African hunting dog, African painted dog, painted hunting dog or painted wolf, is a canid native to sub-Saharan Africa. It is the largest of its family in Africa, and the only extant member of the genus Lycaon, which is distinguished from Canis by its fewer toes and its dentition, which is highly specialized for a hypercarnivorous diet. It is classified as endangered by the Ucan, as it has disappeared from much of its original range. The current population has been estimated at roughly 39 subpopulations containing 6,600 adults, only 1,400 of which are fully grown. The decline of these populations is ongoing, due to habitat fragmentation, human persecution, and disease outbreaks. The African wild dog is a highly social animal, living in packs with separate dominance hierarchies for males and females. Uniquely among social carnivores, it is the females rather than the males that scatter from the natal pack once sexually mature, and the young are allowed to feed first on carcasses. The species is a specialized diurnal hunter of antelopes, which it catches by chasing them to exhaustion. Like other canids, it regurgitates food for its young, but this action is also extended to adults to the point of being the bedrock of African wild dog social life. It has few natural predators, though lions are a major source of mortality, and spotted hyenas are frequent kleptoparasites. Although not as prominent in African folklore or culture as other African carnivores, it has been respected in several hunter-gatherer societies, particularly those of the pre-dynastic Egyptians and the San people. The evolution of the African wild dog is poorly understood due to the scarcity of fossil finds. Some authors consider the extinct Canis subgenus named Xenocian as ancestral of both genus Lycaon and genus Qon, p. 149 which lived throughout Eurasia and Africa from the early Pleistocene to the early Middle Pleistocene. Others propose that Xenocian should be reclassified as Lycaon the species Canis, Xenocian. Falconry shared the African wild dog's absent first metacarpal, duclaw, though its dentition was still relatively unspecialized. This connection was rejected by one author because the X. Falconry's missing metacarpal was a poor indication of phylogenetic closeness to the African wild dog, and the dentition was too different to imply ancestry. Another ancestral candidate is the Pliopleistocene L. See cow eye of South Africa. On the basis of distinct accessory cusps on its premolars and anterior accessory cuspids on its lower premolars. These adaptions are found only in Lycar on among living canids, which shows the same adaptations to a hypercarnivorous diet. L. C. Kawai had not yet lost the first metacarpal absent in L. Pictus, and was more robust than the modern species, having 10% larger teeth. Paleontologist George G. Simpson placed L. Pictus in the subfamily Simacinini, along with Qon alpinus and Spethos venaticus, on the basis of all three species having similarly trenchant carnassals. This grouping was disputed by Juliet Clutton Brock, who argued that, other than dentition, there were too few similarities between the three species to warrant classifying them in a single subfamily. 20. The species molecular genetics indicate that it is closely related to genus Canis. 21. Phylogenetic studies play cell. Pictus and Qon alpinus into a clade of wolf-like canids alongside the extant members of the Canis genus, including C. Simensis, C. Aureus, C. Latrans, C. Lupus and the more basal C. Adustus and C. Mesum elis. 11 figure 10